Okay, cool, what's up? Hey, that was a minute long of your life. <laughs> 27 seconds. Okay, um, auras and their um, astrology signs. Okay, have you ever noticed, I'm going to start with Sagittarius, is that whenever you see an aura of a Sagittarius, the inner aura and stuff, there's x-rays and stuff, like there's more than one layer, you know, you can have an aura outside that aura and, and look at, check out every one of them, every layer. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, one of them is black, and um, and it has eyes in the middle of it. I've seen this with so many Sagittarius's, and I've also saw, you know, I don't see the horse and the half-human thing. I always see a black, it looks like a black panther to me. It reminds me of that. Sagittarius's. Yep, Sagittarius's. And, uh, okay, Leos, as you know, their animal is the lion, and this is exactly what I see. They have fur, they have tails, they move their tails, and you can feel it in the atmosphere moving, because, you know, if, like, you make a little noise for Helen Keller, she can sense you walking in, okay? So, like, you can also sense an aura, and it's physically active with your aura, spiritually active with each other. And when you're around, like, a Leo aura, it makes me feel like... You have to worship them to get them attention. It's like a game. It's like you need to give them um, special attention. Like that's what they deserve, anyways. Like you, you. If you are someone who is serving, you want to please people. Like a Taurus, they're physically stimulating, and they. If you want to help them out with that, you physically stimulate them. You give them a massage or whatever. You automatically want to help them, you know, you want to react to their aura's desires, um, automatically, you just get in that aura and you're like, I guess I'm possessed or something, especially a Virgo, they are very hypnotizing, and sometimes I just want to be in a trance, so I'll just let them hypnotize me, <laughs> not that I fall for their bullshit, because they're pretty much sarcastic liars, some of the Virgos, you know, I mean, you know, there's Virgos, some, you know, it's Mercury, Gemini is said to know that they're a liar, but they're just a storyteller or whatever, too, you know, or just shape-shifting psychos. We're all psychos. We can't help it. Just forgive everyone like uh, Mars and Aries wants you to do because they're lash out and be like, you're just blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, you can. there's bad things and good things about your shines. It doesn't really affect you because you're going to be the best person that you could ever be. You're going to be a really good person, I hope, right? <laughs> and then, you know, you accidentally notice that the side effects come about and you get rid of them okay like okay like cancer signs they have the most mystical aura they do emotional aura. you know it affects you their hands are so beautiful like you can see a serious um person who heals others their hands are always glowing like they're right to be a healer mothering healer person like you just get in that aura like you have a really bad day you know or like a numb day or bull day and you're all raw and then you like walk into somebody's aura especially cancers all of a sudden you feel like really calm and like you just got high off their aura or something like whoa what just happened i want to stick around them but i don't want to use their sap their energy i don't know i don't think that you can hurt affect them it's just you can experience them without them knowing because it doesn't hurt them whenever it's like dust in the air or whatever it's not gonna hurt but they affect you as you affect them like if your mood's all down and stuff you don't want to walk into that area when your energy that you hold is all amazing and positive and that's to share with other people too because you can't help it there's no boundaries between us and it's it's sad that we have to actually be responsible with for our moods around other empaths <laughs> i don't think we should be responsible i think we should just be honoring that we have different energies then we can actually read each other's energies and it's amazing freaking gift in itself just life as it is and just existing i mean it's a talent to do such a thing to explain stuff and uh, sense stuff and tolerate sensing it and communicating with it it's it's a talent to communicate it's a skill you bless yourself but whatever that's some things that lit libras they are the um mystical power of uh, levitating in each other's aura they use elements i can sense your elements you can see each other's x-ray you can see stars and our uh, souls you know we ain't dumb we're real and um uh you can see everything 
But uh, Libra, any most placements you can sense and see where that means levitation for you, you can bring that element in because they are the one of levitation. The air, hello. And fire signs, you know, water signs, I can sense water in people's bodies, their blood, their liquids, pretty clearly, but sometimes they have water separated from all the other liquids, and it kind of gets um, registered as, oh, I get it, there's water in your system, you know, or whatever. Pisces look like they have a, a lava lamp kind of aura, like several different dimensions in them, like, oh my god, and you can tell with spirits anyways that they have so many different expressions going on that you how could you trust anything or untrust most of it if you saw what they really were their slaves were expressed like because like with fairies you would think that they would all be like yay sunshine stuff oh, flowers mystical magic but they have a side to them that looks like it could be evil and threatening because they are out there savaging on their own they have to fight demons and crap on their own i guess I mean, they're just like animals here. Animals here could be douchebags. Some animals aren't as psychic as other animals, but, you know, they're continuing to realize themselves and learn and remember themselves as who they are in connection with people as in telepathic, empathetic, being one, you know, connection is the best. Being psychic is the best. Duh. Okay, well, I remembered enough, and I will try to make that sound like English later, but... Those are my experiences with the signs, you know, like Capricorns have earth sign, you know, they all really have a unique, um, feeling to each and every one of them. Like moon and Libra, white cloud is my guitar's name because that aura is so beautiful. It's Venus. It feels so beautiful to be in that presence of a moon and Libra. A moon in Scorpio is exactly what you call it. Intense, deep really good i love that that's my favorite it's a good way to expand for my moon in aquarius that's actually my ninth house aquarius yeah transformation is the eighth house my jupiter is in the eighth house so it corrects me as in being psychic mm, jupiter and aquarius in the eighth house capricorn good for me it's, you know whatever but yeah indicators of being psychic where you can um Find out how to speak your own language to others and how others can perceive your language. Hopefully you can explain it and figure out how you'll get on a, the right level. Like cancers want to be at an emotional level. Uh, Aquariuses definitely want to be at a telepathic mental level or whatever they can do. They can hold your emotions too. They're the water barrier. They can bring heaven from Pisces is the heaven rulers for some reason. I'm Pisces, so compliments my Aquarius. So good for me. Not talking about me too much, but learning about me can learn about yourself because... We are one, and communicating with each other can figure out how to plug in. I think we need this age of an Aquarius, because it's a revolution, and people should speak out and be weird as they want, and not give a fuck about humiliation, because Aquarius is down. They are the humanitarians, and you know, Virgos, we need them so much to show us the harvesting of a new Virgo, like, help us live to our real abundance. I mean, that's the word for Virgos. They can freaking help us. They live here. They can master themselves here and us to help watch them do it. You know, it's a good teaching thing. Okay, I talked a lot. See ya in the next video about psychic abilities and my experiences or a list of the beings that I've um, encountered because I'm ready to get it on camera because it's like, ah, uh, no, right or not, I'm just going to get my camera. Lilith and Aries, so fast. There's other signs that I probably missed out on telling you, obviously. Um, about the auras, or did I get all 12? Dang it, Scorpios. <laughs> really good auras. Sagittarius has protective auras. Very bright. And, you know, there's so many colors that you can see through the auras, too. But I'll get to those in a different video separately. I'm trying to get everything one by one. Okay, two to lose. Yay! I got a little long. I did it. I tried. Okay. I'll do better later.